and welcome to the bookmap advanced webinar here all right so uh, let's get going can everyone hear me and see my screen in here if you can just uh, type yes in the uh, chat and we'll get started here make sure the recording's going okay yeah we're all good All right, so uh, I should be okay. Yeah, it should be good. Um, all right, so uh, if you can't, if you could, just uh, someone type yes in there for the uh, in the questions, uh, or I mean, in the advanced uh, webinar chat, uh, that they can hear me and see my screen. Okay, thanks, Alan. All right, all right, cause so uh, yeah, I'm just uh, still trying to get uh, make sure we get this uh, right here. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, uh, well, thanks for coming. Uh, welcome uh, to the webinar. So uh, uh, the live trading webinar here um, every every day, 10 a.m. Uh, we'll be doing live forward-looking analysis. This is not hindsight analysis. Uh, actually, that will be just two days, three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, and then we have live trading uh, with J Trader and Scott Pulsini on Wednesday and Thursday uh, at 10 a.m. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, make sure to tune in for those. Uh, it's been a great week uh, last week, uh, and uh, had some really good uh, good stuff in there uh, from uh, from these guys. So uh, uh, on top of all of this, uh, we have Tom B. Uh, in the Trader's Lab room. Uh, he is streaming after these webinars. Uh, you know, he kind of comes in a little bit later at, at his his, uh, his own time uh, and starts streaming. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've got a lot of nice services in here. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, take advantage of them. Uh, you know, our education is pretty robust. Uh, you know, we have the other, basically this, this live webinar here, the live analysis is the foundation. Uh, uh, edu of education for bookmap uh, you have the educational course and uh, and then apply it with this live at forward-looking analysis and then you have three other traders here you got J trader Scott Pulsini and Tom B uh, all uh, also uh, contributing here to the bookmap education uh, Tom B is uh, trading volume profile uh, so look for the live stream uh, later uh, and uh, uh, you can join join in all right, so uh, let's go through the risk disclosures and then let's jump into the market. Okay, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. The risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so uh, let's see here. We've got a big week in front of us, non-farm on Friday. Uh, and um, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, we got ADP, uh, non-farm employment on Wednesday. Uh, what other kind of numbers do we have out? Uh, boy, there's a lot of other things that aren't from the U.S. market. But, uh, uh, oh, ISM manufacturing uh, tomorrow, so that'll be big. Uh, jolts, job openings as well. Uh, tomorrow and um, yeah so uh, the volatility seems to continue here let's jump in and take a look at uh, the uh, uh, S&P e-mini uh, and start to go through things here all right so uh, we see the uh, well I have data since 7 a.m. Uh, 9 30 open cash open nice move to the upside heading right toward high liquidity here at 44.50 Okay, so uh, right above that, we have another area of very high liquidity here. This looks inevitable to trade. Uh, just waiting for these uh, buyers to hit it right now. Let's see if they can uh, uh, lift it right into this area of high liquidity. We have 300 contracts and 525 contracts right there. Uh, we have them underneath at four at 40 here uh, in on the bid, and we're finding buyers. So we should see the transaction into this high liquidity here. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, 
look for that and then let's see if we can get a continuation here now before we go over all of this though uh in the order flow just getting kind of a a, a picture here of it uh let's zoom out uh and look at the bigger time frame here uh, on a candlestick chart okay so um uh interesting interesting stuff here uh we talked about this uh quite a bit uh the move down below these swings back in october uh, looking for buyers to support it, uh, profit taking from sellers, uh, and we are now back in the range and closing above uh, other highs in here. Well, testing other highs, and today we're, we're testing it right now. Okay, so uh, a swing high from uh, uh, last Wednesday, uh, right, right in here. So that's the daily chart. Uh, and uh, if we see buyers continue, we'll be looking for them to trade right up into these some of these areas up here. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, I like this kind of 44.87 uh, and then also 45.17 uh, or 18, somewhere somewhere around there. Heck, you know, they can even get up here to 45.68 or or, uh, or so, maybe even higher. Uh, we, we need to see, uh, we're going to read the order flow, but these are some of the higher time frames to look at on the upside. On the downside, back in the range here, also some of these lows down here, okay, 42.64. Uh, right around in this whole area, this whole zone here, uh, kind of 43.15 down to 42.64 or so. Okay, so uh, some pretty big ranges here, uh, and we've seen some really nice volatility in these big swings. Uh, look at the hour chart here. Uh, here's here's the day, and we're breaking up above it. These are re regular uh, trading hours here. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is going to be a big question. Are we going to accept uh, above this and see momentum above this area here? Uh, or uh, are we going to trade back into this range and maybe test back down into uh, some of these other areas on the hourly uh, down here, maybe around uh, 64 or so. Okay, I also like this kind of area up here. If we can target that, uh, 44.80, and then our 87, or was our 87? We said 87, and where is 87 here? Okay, so that would be the 87 up right here, this swing. Yeah, and then the... Um, 45.18 is uh, is up here. Okay, so let's let's uh, kind of mark those up and just have an idea, uh, and we'll look at those for the week here. A few different. Uh... Oh come on, where is it? Uh, horizontal line. There we go. All right, there's our 87, okay, and how about our, uh, 45.20, okay, all right, so we got a couple lines there. Uh, and then here we got the 15 minute chart and the move up above. Uh, and uh, yeah, just looking at some of these other areas. If we pull back here, uh, where we might go, uh, you know, where we just kind of broke out from 44.25, uh, uh, 43.77, or down in this area here. Now, these are some of the higher time frame levels. We're just kind of mapping out the day here, uh, looking at some of these higher time frame levels. Uh, now we're going to look at uh, the order flow around some of these levels. Right now, we don't really have any. Uh, we, it's just the breakout above this um, 44 area here, uh, or if, it, if it's going to accept or reject, and that's when we're going to dive in the book map and get some insight uh, to what's going on around those levels. So let's jump in here. So here's our move through 50. Okay, we're looking for that, uh, and then potentially up in here to 65 or so. Okay, so uh, and pretty strong buying here. Um, still looks good. There's no reason to think anything different at the moment. Uh, that we we uh, we're sticking with the plan, looking for 60 and 65 liquidity up here. Okay, they're uh, supporting it a little bit lower down here now at 35, and then also around uh, uh, this kind of 44.50. Uh, you can see them on the bid here. So continue to go with the strength until we see something different. Okay. 
pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, any questions on that? Uh, yeah, just uh, let's see what let's see what happens up at the uh, top of the swing here. This is where we're looking for again, uh, you know, big green dots, okay, to be able to pull this on up into 60. Okay, now we're getting some, but we're also seeing some sellers come in now. Okay, so uh, we're going to get some rotations back and forth in here. They'll likely come back down and uh, maybe maybe test. Uh, well, the first area to test, they've already done it, is right here, kind of broke out from this structure. Uh, and then uh, uh, maybe the next area is right around, um, yeah, 40, 4450 and a half or 4450, somewhere around there. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, and um, uh, looking for uh, who's taking control in some of these areas here. All right, so a little on the bid. And they pulled. Yeah, I like this area down here. Uh, around this 44.50, if we can get a pull back to that and a, and, and a bounce out of it. Structurally, I mean, we made kind of an equal high here, so we're we're still bullish. Uh, we didn't make a lower low here. Okay, let's see if we get our buyers up here. If we do, we should come right back up to this liquidity here at 56 looking for our buyers and a skew in the auction here would be good there's a little bit of a skew at 52 let's get our buyers no not getting them okay so another rotation back down Let's start to mark up some uh, uh, mark some structure here in, in the uh, price action as well. Just some simple uh, areas of consolidation and breakout. This is a really bullish move here. Consolidation. Even this one is pretty bullish here because you can see the, the see the gaps in between the areas of structure in here. So there's just so much buying that the the consolidation is up at a higher level like this. Okay, whereas down here. Pretty strong buying, but uh, you can see that uh, uh, it's still it kind of um, it kind of retests back back to where it kind of broke from. Okay, just starting to understand some of the uh, of the areas in the in the structure here. Okay, here come our buyers. Okay, they're coming back in here. So another rotation up. And still haven't still haven't really found the buyers up here. Okay, we're looking for it. And if we can get it, this is going to be a breakout trade up into 60, and then uh, maybe that 65 up here. All right, buyers, let's see it. I do not see them on the bid in here, so I don't like it. Uh, I want to see them on the bid supporting it at a, at a higher level here. Okay, more demand at a higher level. And then I want to see the reaction to that liquidity here uh, with green dots, aggressive buyers. Here we go. Let's see if we get it here. Okay, a little bit coming in here. Now, some balance as well in the order book. You can see some higher liquidity coming out over here, a little bit lower here. Now, the reaction to that was some selling. Right, so we got a little bit of insight there. Okay, I'd love to see this guy pull and flip actually from, from offer to bid. Yeah, he's gonna pull, he's gonna pull here. He's already starting to pull a little bit, but we're getting buying, buying interest here. Now, this guy should pull out. And let's see if we can get it here. Nope. 
not on that rotation. Yeah, nothing real high probability here. It's just it's not really we're we're reading it here and trying to get the insight here. Uh, it's not really giving us what we want. It's uh, really kind of uh, ambiguous at the moment. Okay, we got our exhaustion. Sellers come in. Okay, but but looking for these buyers again. Okay, we're back up again here. Back up into the small range here. Let's see if we can get them now. There they go. And that's that's a tough read. That's a really tough read. I, we didn't get a skew in the auction here, uh, but we got our buyers now. Okay, now they should take this guy on. This guy did not pull. Funnily enough, there he goes. Okay, so he didn't pull, but the, he was taken on by the buyers here. Okay, let's zoom out here. Oh, well, still looking for 60 to transact. Now, opposite scenario here. Uh, this is where the buying took place here. Okay, and uh, we're below that area, and you, we're seeing some sellers here. Now, it's not a whole lot of selling, though. It, I'd be looking for buyers to try to take it right back up here to 56. And let's see if they can do it here. 50, let's call it 55 for first, first target. So we're just reading the order flow around these areas here and just, uh, boy, it's not, well, we got our buyers and, we, and then they got hammered here. Uh, and then I'm looking for them to come right back up though uh, and retest this area here. I uh, see a lot of stops are triggered or, or test the bottom of these ranges here. See if there's any uh, any supply. Okay, the bid looks good here at 50 and 49. Just looking for our green dots now to pull it up into 55 and 56 and then maybe 60 here. Uh, love to see this is kind of a key area here for this this is where the sellers came in right right in here right at 55 okay so if we can get above that uh, then we can get back up into not only 58 but uh, our, our 60 and maybe our 65 uh, 66 liquidity up here okay so I'm gonna just mark that up kind of looking for this order flow around this level here at 55 here come the buyers gonna they're gonna go for it they're gonna attack it Okay, and now let's see if we can get back above it on buyers. If we do, we should get our move to 60 here. Any, any questions on this zone in here? See, see where the buyers came in and see where the sellers took it down, right? So this has become kind of a critical area here at 55 for the moment. All right, we're looking for the order flow around this level now. And let's see, Doug, uh, 55 SPY. Okay, there you go. Um, was 440 uh, or 445. All right, let's take a look at that SPY. Thanks, Doug. Okay, we got our buyers above it here. They should be able to reach it now up to 60. All right, this is... This looks like higher probability to me. I would like to see the bid show more here, but this is looking good. Okay, looking for that move. Okay, there's 60. Let's see if they can go to go higher here. There they go. There's a lot of lot of buying coming in, so we're still looking for for higher here. This higher liquidity here, 63, 65, 66. Okay. Let's 
still looking for it. Uh, we probably get maybe a retest back to 60 here. There it is. Yeah, we're kind of getting back to several rotations. Um, I, I agree, uh, Doug. Let's take a look at the SPY. Boy, I already trade into this here. I love you're looking at this, Doug. This is great. You're getting quite a, quite a bit out of it, like because uh, SPY, like you know, like you, when you were looking at the Qs, the Qs were a lot clearer, I think. But this is pretty good for SPY. Uh, gives and and that nice nice correlation here, understanding like uh, you know high, high liquidity up up at some of these areas in here, All right? And they stayed in the book, so it looks like they want to deal at that 446 now. Let's jump back to that S and P. Add some back and forth in here. All right, well, they can pull back all the way back to 55 here, and we could still be bullish. I mean, this is where the buyers came in and started to take control in this in this small time frame here. And that's what we're looking at here. All right, and we're accepting above it so far. Now, any questions on, on this area in here? Uh, we, we know we covered this on Friday a bit. Like, uh, uh, you know, wh why, what, when, you know, we said this is kind of higher probability that we'll get up to 60 and maybe up in, up into the higher uh, liquidity up in here. And then what was uh, uh, the answer on that? Like, you know, wh why did we think that? After all this kind of back and forth in here, like in all of a sudden in here. Any ideas? What was the question again? Yeah, so like one, well, yeah, like right around in here, we're, we're thinking like what we, I think we, we got it. The buyers got it now um, and uh, looking for the move to 60. Uh, and uh, if they can pick it up, then we're looking for uh, the uh, higher move 63, 65, and 66 up here and this liquidity. And we're, we're still bullish here. And if we get sellers down below 55, it'll be a different story. All right? Then we'd be looking for the move down to 50 again, bottom of the range. And that might happen. Then we're going to see the test right now. And it's testing the top of 55 right now. Well, the answer is like once we start to see the uh, the buyers come in, I, I would have loved to see we see a little bit on the bid in here. It's not a whole lot though, um, but uh, uh, once we got back up above these sellers here, that's really the key, right? And we see there there's buying pressure in here. That's when we're looking for them to move it, and we're looking for a stop run, and we got it, big one, nice one here, right? This was. Uh, uh, how many from uh, uh, this point? Well, we can even we can even go from this point onward. Uh, but the, the bigger one happened here. So well, let's see. That's uh, 300, uh, uh, 382 up to yeah 40 or you know uh, so somewhere around 80, uh, 100, something like that. Looks like 500. Oh, 33. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is like 500. 
Yeah, in fact, let me put the stops and icebergs on the chart here. Stop ESH to CME cell at 4453 volume 10. We'll put the automatic threshold in here. All right. So, okay, so we're down below our 55, actually. All right, so, and they, they tested down to 53. Looking for the test down to 40, uh, 4450. Also, point of control has now moved up, as you guys can see. So, most traded level is uh, we're kind of right at it, a little bit below it right now. So still looking for sellers to push it down a little bit lower here. Okay, let's take a look at our zones and levels. Yeah, I mean even down to like uh, some of this, some of these areas where these transactions took place down here, 44.50 as well as uh, 44.47. Okay, and then I'd be looking for buyers to support it down here. Okay, not seeing much at the moment. But anyway, see how the sellers are taking control down below 55 here? There's our move. Okay, now let's see, maybe a little bit lower here, and then I'd be looking for buyers to take it right back up here to, to at least point of control, okay, or this, this transaction right in here. Okay, I'd love to see them come up higher, back to 55 again. Okay, we're just about there. We should get our buyers. They should start coming in here and at least test back up here to top of the range and our, our point of control. Uh, I'd love to see it to 55 though. That's where these sellers really took control. And here they come. All right, so climb a little bit above this on some buy volume. We should get our move back up to 55. Now again, look at look at where the volume took place here. See the big red dot down here? And see how we're above that right now. This is something we covered on Friday to continue to take a look at. This is where the big transaction took place. Okay? And this is where buyers are now above it. Okay? Now, overall structure is still bearish here. Okay? From this point onward, 55 on down. And, and, and you can see we, we tested point of control just to the top of the range here and sellers came right back in. And now sellers remain in control. More sellers. Okay, now even look at where the selling took place here. So we need to see buyers back up above this area here, right above this, okay, around this kind of 48 level. If we do, we should move right back to point of control here. Maybe a little shy of it, 51. 52. Yeah. All right. So let's see it, buyers. Let's see if you got it. And a push right back up to point of control. This is our responsive buyers here in your in your auction market theory. You guys can uh, uh, ask Tom all about that. There's our move, guys. That's what we're looking for. Even point of control has dipped just slightly there to about 52. Okay, let's see if we can get our buyers back up above it, though. Still looking for them to test up to where these sellers took control here. Just a test. <clears throat>
All right, let me zoom out a little bit here and get our bigger picture approach here. So, yeah, we see kind of a, a shift and change starting to take place, and, and sellers took control here at 55, below 55, right? So I'm looking forward to see if we still have buying interest here. Uh, you can see where we, let's just mark up our structure again uh, and uh, get a feel for what's going on here. So, yeah, we tested down below it. You can see sellers took control. We need to see that the buyer's back up above 55 yet again. Right, that's what we're looking for here in, in one scenario. So here they come, they're giving it the test here, back to 55. Now, you know, as a trading strategy, trading it back to those levels is a, is a strategy, right? It doesn't have to be point of, back to point of control, but back to where these sellers dropped it, okay? And, and you know, you can, you can look for that. That can be a very high probability trade, okay? And then get out. You know, uh, look for if you get buyers back up above it, you can get back in and look for the continuation of it or get out a piece of it and then hold and then look for the continuation. OK, these are just considerations. It's, these, it's not trade recommendations. We don't do that in here. Okay, this is not a trading room like that. OK, it's, it's for you to understand order flow around levels here. And that's what we're we're here for. OK, get deeper insight around these specific levels. Okay. Let's uh, let's jump back at our higher time frame and take a look here. Okay, so uh, you can see we're uh, we haven't really tested it yet. Um, the retest would probably be around this 36 area here, or we can look at it here. 24. What did I say? 36. This this swing up here. Okay. Yeah. You know, ha having the pullback to some, like 25 here, 44, 25 is it's not out of the question at all. Uh, and then have it still continue to the upside. It would just be a retest of these areas and then a, and then see if we can get continuation. Uh, we can take a look at some of these candles in here as well. Like how strong are they? It, you know, it's, it's not really so great. It's not like a, look at some of these other uh, hourly candles in here. Right, with strong, strong moves. And that's where we just look for that continuation. And those are easy, easy trades. Okay. All right. So here we are back up at 55. Okay. Where these sellers took it down. Looking for the buyers here to take it back up. Yeah. So 60 would be the, the next uh, next area here from 55 to 60, and then all this liquidity yet again back up above. Let's, let's uh, take a look here, a closer look. Look for a skew on the bid. Here come our buyers. All right, they should be able to reach up to 60 here. A little more buying would be good. Yeah, not really quite seeing it. Yeah, some selling coming in. Okay, so we'll probably get another rotation on it here. Yeah, there they go. Back to point of control. Okay, let's see if we can get another rotation back up here. Now, this is value here, right? So we're, we're looking for something to move away from value. And for that to happen, it has to be done on size. So we're looking for big green dots to pull it away from value. Okay, I'm not getting it, not getting it yet. So this little, this is tiny little little breakout here, and it failed, right back into value, and that now sellers coming right back in, trying to take control yet again. Okay, and they're going to shoot for the swing low here. Back to our kind of forty-seven level. Okay, this is a low volume pullback here on the buy side. So looking for sellers again and looking for sellers to take it down here. Okay. We covered low volume pullbacks uh, quite a bit the other or last week. Another really, really great strategy. Okay, look at the size of the dots, look at the size of the bars, and look where they pull back to.
Okay, so low, low volume pullback yet again on the buy side. So looking for sellers. Okay, we're kind of flipping our order flow here. We're looking for buyers over here that didn't show up. We're seeing sellers take regain control here. Okay, even, even here, still looking for sellers. There's a, some exhaustion. The sellers should come in now and drop it down to our, our 47 or, or 45 at level here. Okay, looking for it. They're in control. Let's we'll see them go to this outer edge here and try to take it down further. Here they come. And now they should be able to move it. Let's see it. Let's see it, sellers. Right back down to 47 or this 46 and a half. And liquidity down here at 45. Okay, here they come. Let's see it. We've got to get more than that, sellers. You've got control here. Okay, even this buying here is still pretty paltry compared to all this selling here. All right, still looking for it. Okay, you know, see, see how we kind of stayed in that and, and not got shaken out of this here. We're still looking for it due to the amount of volume in here on the sell side. Come on, let's see the flush through right into 45. Forty-five liquidity coming in. Okay, so now we're see, seeing some the, the buyers becoming a lot more down here now, right? Starting to see a bit more now. Okay, sellers still in control though. Okay, so this forty-five liquidity looks pretty good. And boom, right into 45. Beautiful, beautiful move. All right. So anyway, yeah, I'd be taking some profit down there. Uh, and uh, yeah, see if they can still continue. I mean, sellers remain in control, right? Not until we see something different. But, you know, this was the target, high liquidity. It traded. We have some icebergs on the other side here. But they still remain in control. Okay, until we see something different. Okay, makes sense. We'll go through, we'll review this here. Yeah, and see, see the buyer starting to come in now. It's starting to like kind of equal some of the selling in here. So we're starting to see now a back and forth market from a trending down to a back and forth market. Sellers still remain in control though, even on this move back. Okay, this will help you stay in trades. Do you guys have questions about this? Would you like me to go over this over here uh, again? Is this something that you find helpful? This low volume pullback, I mean, you guys, like how how golden this is. I mean, it really is, is something that... Uh, uh, you know, you, you'll, you're, you'll you'll be able to utilize this again and again, and it's such a simple thing. Okay, Kurt. So you want me to go over it again? Is that right? <laughs> okay, thanks, Alan. Okay, I, I will do a quick review. I mean, I I I, I, um, I just want to make sure that we're going through 
not I don't want to go through hindsight analysis with you guys. And we're here for the forward looking analysis like we're doing. Right. But uh, sometimes we need to take a step back and we need to go over things and understand why we thought these things would un unfold. Right. So you see the buyers coming in right now. So where where are the sellers? Well, look at all the majority of the selling down here. Where would they come back up and test? Well, they've already done it here to this volume node here. Looking for this one as well. Maybe they can get back up to this swing here at 51. Right. Maybe you're going to get the, the buyers to come back to point of control. 53 now. Right. Our responsive buyers looking actually pretty good. Look at the support at 50. So looking for them to trade it back here. Right. So, yeah, you would have exited that position uh, once you saw the buyers starting to come in like this. Or you, you could even like trade it back to uh, these areas here. Now, it's the selling down here. Right. And where they took control in here actually as well. And we're above it. We're above it on the buy side. Right. That's kind of the key here. Understanding where that selling took place and where buyers can kind of get it up ended and take it the other way. Okay. Same as in here. We were looking at it in here. And that's where we're coming right back to test right in here. And it happens to be point of control. Now, uh, let's see, uh, Alec, your your question, your point of control is different. Yeah, that might be the case. Um, I've got mine, I think, resets at the cash open, I believe. Or maybe I don't have it resetting at the cash open. So I have it, looks like I have it actually till 7, 7 o'clock uh, East Coast time here. Right, so it's going to be different in that sense. Uh, nonetheless, though, look at the look at the size of the profile up here. So somewhere around there uh, ought to be ought to be about right. 42, 44.25, though that does not that sounds um, off. I mean, maybe you opened up your book map uh, not too long ago, or 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 I don't know something. Maybe you had it for several days. Uh, then your your point of control is going to be a little different. Okay, so we tested back up to these sellers here, and we we haven't found buyers take it higher here. Okay, the the, the responsive buyers they got what they wanted. They traded it back to the mean, and they're they're going to cover. Okay, sellers still coming back in here. Okay, right back to 45 again, where this uh, huge selling took place here. Now this is going to be interesting to see here. This is going to be the battlefield here. Uh, we see the icebergs coming in as well. Uh, we may come just to here uh, at 47, and we may see buyers support it now, right, and, and bounce off of this area. These guys, you know, they're in control down below. Now you can see now now they're not. Now they're, or now they're not going to get squeezed here. We're down here again, and we're finding more sellers here. The sellers ought to, should be able to take this lower now. They should be able to take it back down to maybe the next level here. For, uh, 44, uh, 40, and 35 here. Okay, we're still structurally, we're still in a downtrend, and we're seeing more selling at the bottom end here. So we're looking for them to push it away from point of control. We just tested point of control, looking for another push away from it here. Oh, you're welcome, Alan. Uh, Alec. Uh, let's see, Doug, uh, traders are buying SPX and puts and sell calls. Market makers have been selling ES about 10 a.m. Thanks, Doug. We'll have to do another webinar with you, Doug. Uh, or you want to come in for a streaming event and uh, uh, go through your, uh, uh, you know, what, what you went through in your in your webinar. Doug's got a really uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, higher time frame analysis using uh, options. Love, love the way you took that on, Doug. That, that was great. Uh, new, new information from uh, Spot Gamma uh, and all that, all that options uh, data, uh, and then put that into a unique higher time frame look. Okay, still looking for sellers to try to try to take this lower. Look at the cluster. Right now, they've got to take it lower. Even point of control has now moved down, at least on mine. Right, it's down here now. So we're we're at value here. Now 
let's see when are you going to have a an in-person conference oh that's a that's a good question alan well i mean all this covid stuff boy we gotta we gotta get over that yeah that'd be a lot of fun no no doubt all right now see see where the selling took place again to see now watch the buyers try try to lift it away from that area here because you know the sellers are kind of hanging out in the in the breeze here right if we can get big buyers above this area i'd be looking for a move right back to here right back to uh this this uh these transactions up here now we don't have much going on in the order book to kind of give us insight at the moment i mean you know yeah 50 looks good this liquidity here uh, a little bit higher would be good as well see, see how the sell the buyers will kind of squeeze these guys here and looking for that move back up into these areas Right. If we don't get sellers trying to take this lower at this point, now they should have been able to take it lower at this point. And they didn't. Not enough, not enough selling uh, interest. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun, Alan, no doubt. Uh, all right, let me get to back to some of these questions here. All right, so the review, you guys want to take a look at that in, in the review. Um, uh, maybe, maybe we can do it again on, on a different example. Um, I mean, this example here, this is something we went over on Friday uh, as well. Like, where in this whole move, I mean, like, how decisive is this move on the sell side, right, in, in, in some of these areas here? N not really decisive. Okay. Now, here, here's our decisive volume down here, but it's way down here, and, and, and buyers are back up above it, right? So looking for them to trade back, now the, the buyers to trade back and test some of these other previous areas here. Okay, same same as as in down in here. Same same idea. The majority of the of the um, uh, selling took place down here and into high liquidity, and into high liquidity yet again here at 45. Okay, here's one push down below it, a stop run as as well, and then now we're looking for our buyers to come back up to this area 52, and they're already here. Okay. So, it, you know, it's, it's this context of the volume within the structure that we're looking at here. And we have also the order book within the structure, these three elements here. So here it is. Let, let's go through the review. Uh, and uh, ni nice move back to our, our 52. Okay. And not on high, high volume either, uh, buy volume. Like it's, it's pretty paltry in here. You know, we want, we want big decisive moves here on that buy side. We're starting to get it now. Okay, so let's let's take a look here. I, actually, if we can get it now, uh, they've got clear sailing all the way up here, uh, back up to 60 is a good level here. I like that, and there's liquidity there. Okay, and then we're back to the same story, back into 63, 65, and 67, or 66. Okay, see the buying coming in. I'm looking for it. Looking for 60. Right, and the, I, I want to see them break above that and then test up into uh, 63 here. Okay, a lot of stops will be triggered up above here as well. All right, so let me do a quick review, and I'll take stops and icebergs off for the moment, uh, and I think I'll take point of control off for the moment as well. Okay, uh, and let's take off. We can take off everything here. Okay. All right, so we got structure here, basically. Okay, created by best bid and offer. Okay, going back and forth and creating areas of, of uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, consolidation and breakouts and trends. Now, what we want to understand within the structure is the volume. Where is that volume transacting? Uh, and so let's add that onto the chart now. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can kind of kind of see it here. Our 55 level we talked about, the breakout above. In the breakdown below sellers taking control 
a little bit higher maybe in here but uh, it looks pretty decisive here okay they, they really they really take it down we get a retest back to it okay turn around again more sellers come back in we're looking for it to go lower and then back in here now the, the sellers are the transactions are happening down here okay and uh, uh, the buyers can get on the other side of that and lift it to test where those sellers took control in some of these other areas so they go right to it okay but that that was it on the buy side we come back right back down to buy we're looking for buyers to support it here okay because this is where they came in and, and, and keep these guys on the hook here these sellers right to have them have to turn around and be buyers in this area they got off the hook uh, sellers took it down one more time here okay now these guys are on the hook uh, here <laughs> and potentially if they didn't take uh, any profit or get out here they're on the hook as well so and here here's here's the hook the buyers back up above it now the move back up above didn't look too good until we started to see it up here right it starts to look a lot better uh, that uh, we're going to come up in, into some of these areas and so we're looking for 60 okay and we're looking for testing these these other areas where the sellers kind of the sellers took it down here basically uh, but looking for these other pockets and other areas of consolidation. A good one is right right above 60 here. Okay, right right here. Okay, so looking for the test up into there. Okay. Is that was that clear? Did that did was I able to 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 review this in in a in a coherent manner here? Did it did that make sense? <laughs> okay all right alan sounds like it made sense to you excellent buy icebergs and spy at 440 uh 44 all right alec excellent excellent you can't see stops in icebergs the same way yeah let me go from, through my configuration in here this is a nice one too like ni nice iceberg buying in here uh, no doubt uh, we saw some a little bit earlier as well. So all the way up, in fact, uh, a lot of iceberg buying right in here. Now we, we've got actually some, you know, this is something I, I'm now I am mentioning this in hindsight here uh, because we didn't really look at that. We were looking at these guys being on the hook more than anything else. Uh, this is such a nice confluence, such a beautiful confluence. Uh, I'll go over the confluence in just a second here. Let me go over the settings first. Okay. These are the settings that I have. It, it, it's the simplest one summation accumulate as some accumulate as some and that's it right i like it because and i i do not make the uh, make sure that um uh the axis alignment here that none of these boxes are checked right so what i get here is two different axes the red one is for the stops and the the blue one is for the icebergs but that's fine i know that they're different I just need the context though of the moves like I know this is a pretty big move in the stops okay and here's another one here I know that uh, ah, this is this is was pretty big and this was pretty big on icebergs but this dwarfs it now so all of a sudden here's what we got when we came back down into this area here we had um, lots of uh, selling okay and buyers can get back above it lots of selling yet again buyers can get back above it and we have lots of icebergs and a lot of stops being triggered right here at this area here as well. Okay, beautiful confluence. But on in addition to this, okay, so we know we went through the structure and we went through where that volume is transacting in this structure. And then we're looking at um, the, uh, the, we're gonna look at the heat map here because that gave us a lot of insight too. Okay, so when we look at this here, we can see high liquidity in here and it transacted they stayed in the book and they transact we see a bounce we see high again high liquidity in here and it transacted and traded through and transacted again uh, in here all right so we got we got a, you know lots of reasons here uh, to look especially at this confluence is beautiful J just beautiful and I didn't see that uh, earlier. Or I, th I think we saw a little bit of it. Maybe the smaller, maybe it was the smaller move here 
we kind of saw earlier. But uh, uh, now we got bigger ones here, and and this is uh, the biggest that we have so far for the day, right? No, actually, uh, it's not. But uh, but it is for this range that we're looking at, and that's for sure. Uh, what's my setting for volume bubbles? Let's take a look here. Right click on it, go to settings, and this is what I have: volume delta. Uh, and I have the smart clustering on, but just just uh, mildly here, on uh, that's it. Okay. All right. And uh, see, Sam, I'm sorry. You said uh, you are not concerned about the break of the market structure when looking at the downside. Let's take a look at your image. Well, no, I'm looking for again, like a. Uh, uh, I don't know if I let me let me go back to your question here. Yeah, I mean we we broke the structure to the upside here, but we traded back into these this cluster in here, right? Um, so this is where the sellers really really took control, especially here. Okay, then they just kind of test above it, and then uh, and then it it, it didn't uh, uh, wasn't sustained, uh, and we see the continuation. Okay, but this is a good point though, uh, Sam. Like, uh, um, yeah, you you know you start to see some buying coming in. Um, when you add that into kind of you can kind of look at this as a double bottom pattern here. Sellers, buyers starting to come in and and at least test the top of this kind of area where the the sellers took control. And then we have a ton of selling down here, but we have a lot of things going for us. We have first off high liquidity getting filled, right? Uh, and then we also have those icebergs and stops. Uh, and then we see the um, uh, the buyers starting to lift it away from that area. Th th this selling is on the hook, okay? And we're just looking for them to t test at least back up into some of these areas where the sellers took it down, okay? And, and up in here as well. Right, the swing is up here, and the and the selling was up here, around 56 or so. So let's go back and take a look now. Where are we? Okay, well we made it. Here's our move to our 56 right up in here. Okay, and we got it. We we're looking for more buyers to take this up to 60. Okay, we almost got there, and then we got a really deep pullback, and now we're there. Okay, and buyers are still in control here. Okay. Now, if sellers come in, where are they going to test them? And you, you want to have an answer for that? Where, where would if sellers came in here, and you know, so far we don't see them, but what, what would you guys think? Where, where might they take it? And let's turn on our point of control as well. Back to a value area. That's another another thing to take a look at. Just, you know. Uh, Kind of, it's related to clusters, but it's also just the, the you know, the vo the volume point of control is is way down here. So you can get a responsive sellers coming back in. Hey, I don't I don't see them yet. And let's see. So. Uh, okay, Javi. Yeah. You're welcome. You 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 guys like I, I no I really appreciate it and I, I'm very happy to go through um uh you know the uh, why we think that move was going to unfold um and then and review it uh but like I said if you guys are more interested in the forward looking analysis and then, then we'll we'll cover that we can always go over the review later uh you know but uh, we're we're really here to apply the course content in the live market. So you guys can really learn the order flow as it's unfolding uh, and apply it. Uh, and then uh, uh, the next step is uh, uh, basically wrapping some trading strategies around it. And we, we've talked about a few. Uh, there's there's so many different ways to, to do it, you know, slice it and dice it with uh, the, the trading strategies. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, the um, Alan, you said 44.50. Okay, way down here. Yeah, it's not bad. Liquidity coming in here. Um, however, the first one I'd be looking at is right here. See where the buyers took it? 
right here in this kind of cluster and this is where the this is on a smaller time frame here's here's the sellers trying to take control again below that 4455 area and then here the buyers are you know handing it to them back on the other side right see again see the pivot here is really around this level here 4455 look for these levels again and again and again Okay, so they moved it up to 60, and, and this is where the test would be, back to 55. Okay, so let's see if the sellers go for it here. So looking for it, let's see if we get them here. I mean, you know, we know buyers are still in control. But we're looking for sellers here in this scenario, and we, we got to see the red dots in here. A, a skew in the auction would be good, and then a move down to... to 55, yeah, right right into 55 here would be perfect. Sam, do you have any, any questions on that uh, in your image there? Understanding where the where these uh, where the trading is taking place, you know high li high liquidity as well, getting filled icebergs. Also, we have all sorts of reasons down here, and it led to a nice move out of it. All right, so here are sellers, right? They're going to test it here, and looking for them to test here, right here. Looking some liquidity starting to come in here. The blue, you can see the blue starting to come in a little bit. All right, here, here, here they come. Let's see if they can do it now. They should be able to hit it, 55. I mean, they almost always test it. It's, it's really kind of funny. Okay, they got a little bit of buying on the hook here. Let's see, they should be able to do it. But yeah, this is not what we want to see. We don't want to see buyers here. Then, then, then we can get back up here and, and they can break out, right? We want to see sellers down here. Now, this, isn't a, this is not a good sign for the buyers at all. See, we made a lower high here. Now we're getting our sellers. Okay, now they're gonna, I think they're gonna not only test 55, I think they can uh, uh, maybe bring it back down lower. There's our 55. Okay. Now it's going to do or die for the buyers here. Okay. They're going to support it. Okay. Sellers from this move on down, they, they're in control from this very, very small time frame. They moved it away. Okay, buyer, we need the buyers back up here above 57, and here they come to test it. Okay, that is a low volume pullback on the buy side. I'd be very careful here, though. Okay, so here we go. Let's. If this is a low volume pullback here, it's just not a lot of price range, and if we can get we we can get buyers back up above here at 57, and it's because this isn't a whole lot of selling. It wouldn't take a whole lot of buying back up above it to 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 you know, have it reach back up into our original targets here, right? So we've got to look for that scenario here. But so far, this was a low volume pullback on the buy side. You know, there's more selling in here, okay? So it makes sense that they come back down into this range here, okay? Now, if, then maybe they can push the range here, try to push through our, the 55 level and try to get maybe down to uh, what Alan was looking for, back to back to 50, Here's their here's their attempt at it, and yeah, there no no real insight at the moment. There's buying and selling on e either side here. Okay. 
And here come the buyers. They're going to try to test it. And see how they're getting stuffed there. All right, the, the more buying up here. We got to get back up above fifty-seven and a, and a quarter here, right, right in here. That's that's what we're looking for in that scenario on the buy side. Okay, sell side. We're looking for the sellers down here at fifty-five. And let's see who takes control here. No, no real insight right now. It's just it's, this is really back and forth, as you guys can see, buying and selling, looking for someone to take it here. Okay, sellers took it down now, we're up, but we're already right back at 55. So this might fail. And if we're looking for buyers back up above here at 57. Yeah. All right. Sellers taking it lower. All right, Alan, I think you're on for 50 here. I don't think it's, I, I just, I don't, I still don't like it. There's something in here, like with the order flow, like uh, uh, just the way the selling is moving here. Now, now it's, now it's moving. Um, so there's, there's your 50. Okay. Good call, Alan. Okay. Point of control is way down here at 45. Okay, and that's what uh, Alec was looking at, his level. Yeah, I mean, uh, so many traders, uh, there's so many people like uh, with that mean reversion trade, uh, Alan, uh, you know, uh, back to back to point of control. And they really, really, uh, you know, once they get to momentum, that, that they, they go for it here. And that, that's where we're going. Um, I, I still I still think this is a tough read in here. Didn't didn't like it. Could have gone either way. Sellers took it down here, but I still didn't. <laughs> <laughs> didn't trust it um strong selling but you know it's only like a, a couple it's like a point maybe a point and a half we want to see strong selling like this <laughs> and them to move it and then we look for low, low volume pullbacks in continuation but we want the, the it to be decisive they've moved it away from an area Yeah, it's getting messy, David. I, I agree. Well, yeah, uh, let's let's take a look at our higher time frame. Um, you know, uh, well, just just on the on the day uh, activity here, we did not make a higher high here, even on this retest. It came back to sixty, and that was it. Okay, we not we have not really made a lower low though. I mean, slightly here at forty five, but. Yeah, I mean we're 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 still, you know, still still could be bullish here. Um, if they can make a lower low here, though, that 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 would kind of confirm it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of mean reversion uh, algos out there, Alan. I, I would agree with you on that. Okay, Doug, let's see. The equivalent uh, S&P uh, 4455 is equivalent to the 4 
45 SPY. Okay. Yep. Let's take a look here. So we traded down to here and it's bouncing back up. Uh, just a shy of 44. High liquidity here at 45. Okay, Alec, you've read the used price and volume to uh, broken up in half hour increments. You know, it's an interesting thing. I mean, like uh, uh, regarding time, uh, well, there's certain timings in the market. Um, look at point of control, just snap right back up here to 53. Uh, it's all over the place. This is getting messy, uh, David. I agree. It's one kind of big value area up here. Um, anyway, the uh, you know, I think um, some years ago, I don't know, eight or ten years ago, like I, I started to come across like uh, you know the idea. I mean, the time is really. Um, doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, there's specific times that, you know, like the open or the close or whatever, um, when there's a lot of traders trading. Uh, but the, uh, the market is event based. Uh, it's not time based. Uh, algos, they, you know, they don't care. I mean, as long as like, uh, there's, um, uh, it, it, you know, a big event that takes place, what is the order flow around that event? So let's take a look at our higher time frame for just a second here, and I'll get back to some of your guys' questions here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we're still on the hour chart. We're still kind of above, uh, you know, the swing here. So this is still bullish. Okay, and also the five-minute or 15-minute, sorry. After I just bashed uh, time candles. I would rather have volume candles in here any day of the week. Uh, the problem is uh, uh, I just um, am always switching the, the, the volume. Um, and so uh, I just it's so much easier to just go with the time candle. And we, Before I had it with the NASDAQ, we were looking at the NASDAQ. They were volume based. Uh, but um, I had to switch to time just because like it's just too much effort to try to figure out, oh, well, I want to look at this kind of range and what's it what's it doing uh, today with that I, and I just didn't have time to do that uh, let's see here Oh, okay. All right. I, I see. Um, so Jesse is saying, which would make sense as the futures uh, use the traded, used to be traded on the floor in 30 minute increments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're a long cry from, from, uh, from those days, but uh, uh, still a lot of, a lot of people doing it, I guess. Anyway, let's 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 also take a step back here, like and look at uh, our higher time frame ag again. Um, you know, looking for those trending days and those big candles, like these areas around, you know, the order flow. Like uh, we looked at uh, here, I believe last um, what this was on, uh, yeah, the 25th, uh, down below some of these swings in here, and where we knew there were wicks and buyers previously. That's when we want to look at the order flow around those areas, and we did see that. Right. In fact, I think it was like we were looking for 
the move back to a point of control when we said no it it you know look where the those buyers came in uh or sellers came in uh and then that uh, we can get back up above that and uh, uh and we weren't looking for a reversal at that point but it was the reversal for the day we we're just looking for a small move uh and then that turned into a bigger move it's similar to and this is a really important point because we don't know if it's going to turn into a bigger move or not uh some sometimes we do sometimes we we can see it very very clearly in the order flow but a lot of other times uh what happens is uh you'll see that like the kind of sm we look for the event to take place as, as being smaller uh and just to retest to some of those areas here but then you start to see the buying really pick up uh, in some of those areas and that's when it turns into a bigger a higher time frame move uh, and the read is uh, you know we're now we're talking about bigger swings not smaller swings and retest to it we're looking for a bigger swing and a bigger move Yeah, and this is just just messy again. Sellers, I mean, like they, they took control here again and and moved it back down. So looking for them to come right back again to maybe uh, uh, 445, uh, 4445. Yeah, here's some exhaustion on the buy side. Here's some selling here. They should be able to take it down uh, at least to 4445, uh, maybe 4440 here. Now that's the bigger swing, right? Okay. nothing nothing looking great though at the moment again just just like kind of bashing around in here buying and selling mostly selling in this move here to the downside so structurally in this this area same ideas structurally in this area here the sellers remain in control okay look for low volume pullbacks move back down to the bottom of the range and continuation okay there's a low volume pullback here Looking for sellers to take it right back down. Right back down. 47 and 46. Okay, makes sense. Now, this is point of control here now, is it, you know, as far as what I have. Um, and we need to see sellers, big seller, selling, move it away from there. Okay, David, you have a high volume mode at 43. All right. Uh, you probably are from the London, London. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, below that overnight high. Okay, so you, you probably had book map open a lot longer. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, well, let's go through a couple scenarios here. We're right smack dab in the middle here. But sell side, sellers still remain in control, looking for sellers in this area right now to take it down to, there here we go, take it down to the bottom of the range here. Uh, and I want to see them break it, break the range on some size and come back down to 44.40. Okay, so here we go. They're moving it from the inside to the out. Okay, and they have to do it on size. Okay, so we're getting down into these areas here. Okay, 45 was our first area. Okay, now careful here, like even consider taking some profit in some of these areas because we're at the bottom of the range here. We're going to get buyers that want to trade it right back to the point of control, 4450. Okay, so you can start to reduce some risk because you, you, you look for these buyers to trade it back to the range. Or you can even do both. Take some profit, reverse, and, and try to trade it right back up uh, maybe to about 49-ish, somewhere right there.
now how would how would you you know look look at that like um if this was if this selling in here wasn't so decisive yeah i would be looking for buyers to trade it right back right and and look at the volume dots in here compared to some of the other areas in here it's not bad it's okay it 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 kind of really doesn't give us too much of a of insight it's kind of equal so yeah they moved it away but not like with big you know decisive uh, uh volume right so all we did was get back down here and we can we you know can get get buyers to trade it right back back to it Yeah, not seeing much here. Well, we got to get going here. So it's almost, it's been an hour and 25 minutes. Um, I just want to look, get a little more insight here. See what's going to happen here. Some context in this little zone in here, the small zone between 45 and 47. We're going to get our range bound trade or, you know, mean reversion. And there they go right back to it okay now how does this bind look compared to this selling over here okay it's less okay so for buyers to take control they, they, they got to get above 50 on some size if they do then we'd be looking for this bigger range where the sellers took it down over here so we'd be looking for a move back to our 55 level if the buyers get back up above here. If they don't, and we get the sellers that start to come right back in again, looking for them to take it down to 43 and 44, uh, 40 here. Okay, This is the more likely, since we're trending lower, the more likely move is to the downside here. And this is where that this it gets really I, I feel it gets very very tricky in here uh, when we have um, you know the the selling we're watching looking at this kind of area here at 50 uh, and uh, uh, even with light volume though they, if they can bring it back up and so low volume pullback okay usually go with the trend look for the con continuation to the downside you know not enough buyers just it just moved back to where it broke from here. Where this can get at upended though, is when you get the buyers back. If they can just push it and punch it up above here, so low volume pullback, but it can still follow through to the upside if it can get back above here, right? And then you look for that high volume to move it away from that area. Okay, so we look for that scenario. Maybe they would have done it here. They didn't, okay, and they they still may. Yeah, here they're going to try it again. And now we got your this is European close as well, so we're gonna get some uh, some volatility in here. Yeah. So what's the strategy on that one? Nothing. Well, let's see. Let let let's put it this way. Um, uh, if you start to see that in here, that that big bind back up above it, um, it it's basically you got to go with it, right? And you're looking for them to to move it pretty pretty quickly. That would be the strategy. Stop. You know, I mean, if, if and they should move it right away. So what you can do is you can have a very tight stop on that, right? 
So again, this, these are not trade recommendations. We don't do that. Um, but we can go through many different time, types of trading strategies. So we'll be looking for the, the big buying up here, okay? Like right now, let's see if we can get it right now. Right, and then you just you just jump in because you're looking for this to move now, right? Uh, and then you can you can have a really tight stop. Like I mean, you could put it you know here, but you know kind of bottom of this little range. Um, boy, a lot of times though, I, I just have it even tighter than that, uh, and give it a shot. If it didn't work out, it gets stopped out. Look for another one. Right, but they should move it immediately, uh, and we'd be looking for them to just pull it up here on big volume very very quickly look, look like this here let's see if they can do it now see what they they got up here but we got to see the follow through see this is european close so this is this is and this is tricky timing right now because of this european close all right so anyway that's those that's some up uh, uh potential um uh, uh strategy considerations there Okay, An another one, uh, what is it, Panamints, sure, sure, no, you're, you're welcome. Another one is like, uh, what if you get low, light volume down here on that sell side? Okay, you, you could trade it up to this area here, and then you'll have to figure out what you want to do at that point. Right, see how this, this one failed here, right? So it, it, we're looking for it, we're looking for it, and it failed. We, instead, we got sellers down below here. Okay, and now they're going to come right back at it, and we're still now we'd be open again to that scenario. Okay, it's another it's another trade opportunity. It's separate. In fact, it can be really good, especially with stop run here. Yeah, so looking for it again. And I don't see it. Let's watch. And in fact, there is no buying up here. Came right back to it, but no buying. Very little. Okay, more sellers at the low. All right, well, after this here, I mean, this is European close, so like like I said, it, it makes it, you know, a little more challenging here. Uh, you just get erratic swings by larger players, so th that's hard to judge. Okay, so here they go back up. Let's see, that they should go right back to 44.50 here. Buyers should trade it right back to it. Now, like I said, you can take that trade too. You know, these are pretty high probability. Like when you when you see like uh, you know there's a uh, 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 the buyers start to come back in and they want to trade it back to the mean, and then and then see if you want to hold it from the mean onwards or not. Right. So you'd be in in somewhere you know around in here. You'd you'd probably cover uh, some and then you'd hold some here for looking for that breakout so that scenario and here you go right now I, I don't like it here we're looking for those big big buy dots to pull this away and what do we get up here instead we got sellers that's not what we're looking for right so this is just a mean reversion play right and then I, I'd cut it Okay, oh, here they go again. Let's see if they can pull it off. Yep, now they're gonna now it looks like they're gonna go for it. Okay, yeah, I still don't like it. I would miss this one, even though I think it's gonna go up to fifty five and, and maybe sixty. It's just you know, it, it's just not, not quite the the look. Uh you know, the the, the big decisive volume uh that we see. Now that we're looking for. 
Okay, so that that, that and that leads to these kinds of messy days like this, this back and forth in here. So anyway, lots of stuff in here, guys. Lots of back and forth. Um, since let's see, we started the webinar at ten. Uh, ten was an easy call, I thought. Right in here, I think we started right around in here. We're looking for the move up into um, what was it here? Uh, well, this liquidity here. Uh, at around 48 and 50. Okay, that, that looked like an easy move. Uh, that unfolded and, and it traded above it, you know, back up into these areas here. Uh, 60 was the next level. That looked nice. And then we thought for sure, due to the, the high volume in here, we're looking for them to continue on up into higher liquidity here, uh, 63, and then on up to like 65 and, and 66. And, and then this has been the entire session, this back and forth in here. Okay. And, and saw some nice little moves in here, though, uh, that could be uh, could be traded. Uh, higher time frame stuff, though, like, uh, yeah, it looks like buyers are going to see them coming in now. All right, so I'm looking for them to move it here to 60. All right, so, uh, yeah, this uh, this little kind of in um, uh, or kind of confusion in here of like, yeah, you know, it's not so great in here. It's not what we're looking for. Yeah, they might do it again here. Like yeah, I you know I'd probably uh, I'd probably miss that one, uh, but uh, uh, they're doing it. Okay, just look for something that is a little higher probability. And due to all of this action in here, I and it's been very very sideways in here. I'd be looking for the, uh, you know uh, a potential failure on that move. Right. Uh, my imbalance settings through. We can go over that. Yeah, Alec, Alec, yeah, not enough volume. I mean, and we're looking at, again, that context, the volume within ranges, right, uh, and those moves. So they're, they're, they're doing it. I mean, see, see how this is just, it's just not as decisive in here. Like, we're looking for, like, uh, those big green dots here. We're not getting it. I mean, this isn't bad in here. And, you know, they, they moved it to 55. That was the first one. Se second is 60. I don't know if we're going to get to 60. We might get our mean reversion traders right now, right back to 50, right? And that's the day it's been so far, right? So anyway, as you can see, what we're talking about here is reducing risk when we don't see exactly what we were looking for. You know, we... we um, uh, you know, look look for maybe the the, the move to uh, some of these areas here, but then you know re reduce the risk because uh, it, it's 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 quite choppy in here. But you can still take pieces out of the market along the way. All right, can I show the imbalance uh, uh, settings? Yes. Okay, volume and balance. There is no settings or setting. Um, uh, order book and balance. I have it at 10. 10 levels on the bid, 10 on the ask. And that's it. All right, guys. So uh, let's, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Um, and... Uh, been choppy so just a uh, bigger picture stuff uh, let's take a quick look I mean there's still momentum here to the upside so I, still still I mean it's been choppy this entire session basically um, but uh, you know we see our green uh, green candles here on the hourly uh, and we see that we're kind of accepting higher uh, here so far on the uh, on the 15 minute uh, if we get a lot of selling back down into these kind of, this kind of area down here around 40, uh, 45 or 43 or so, uh, then yeah, I'd be looking for them to try to pull it back down. Uh, you know, traders to tr trade it back down and pull it back down into, um, you know, some of these other previous areas here. 25, 26 looks really good for starters. Okay, and maybe even down to, uh, you know, 4,400. Uh, this is where we, we uh, regular trading hours we broke out from. 
Okay, so a couple of different scenarios to look at again, uh, but you can see it's been very, very choppy uh, during this session. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, uh, no other questions? Then, uh, yeah, let's, uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions in here. We can go through it. Oh, thanks, Tom. Yeah, guys, uh, look for Tom. Uh, he'll be streaming, uh, you know, sometime soon. You're welcome, Doug. And uh, get into some of the volume profile stuff. Uh, and uh, auction market theory. And we cover a little bit of it. That's our goal here. It's not to, we're, we're covering many different things in here. Uh, so, uh, you know, traders can apply many, many different ways. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. The... Um, Anyway, like uh, again, it just very, very simply looking at order flow around specific levels. Okay, you know, highlight your levels, and then I really uh, encourage you to go back and um, uh, use replay mode uh, to uh, to study some of these. Uh, if you're new to Bookmap, and then uh, go back and, and look at why did some of these levels work and why didn't they. Okay. Some of the things that we talked about, you know, you can come back here and look at and start to understand. Like, uh, you know, not until, uh, um, I don't know, someone else said about, there was a lot of icebergs happening there. Uh, I didn't even really look at it, and it was right in front of me. Okay, we had a stop run and icebergs. Look at that that beautiful relationship right here. Right? But we were looking at, we were really focused in on the buying or the selling down here and the buying back up above it. That's what we're looking for. And then we're looking for tests back up into where those sellers took control. Okay, and we looked at some of these areas here. Like this is the first one. This is kind of the second one, but it's really up in here. Okay, and then you can even go further or, or you know, here. Uh, and then also, yeah, this is, this is kind of, yeah, I mean, basically it's in here too, but... Uh, uh, I really like it here. That's very, very clear. And that's where we marked up that line there uh, at 55, 55 and a half or so. Okay? And then starting to understand the order flow around some of these areas here. Okay? And a beautiful context here led to a really nice move uh, to the upside. Okay? And then look, look how back and forth it's been okay? since then. All right? And I haven't really seen anything uh, since then except for this, this move here that we're looking for. Um, a trade back up to here and then maybe a break of it and then here I, I'm not I'm just not going for it this this it did it but it just doesn't look that convincing it's not not really uh, you know I, it, I just don't want to take the risk on it it's not worth the risk at this level okay? and it was a night nice, turned out to be a nice move anyway guys uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll do it again look for Tom he'll be streaming soon uh, and um, uh, yeah, we've uh, uh, got you covered in here. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. And we'll catch up tomorrow, same time at, uh, at 10 a.m. All right. Take care. Have a good day.